How can our city be a home to thriving people in a thriving place while respecting the well-being of all people and the health of the whole planet? That will depend on whether the city is Stockholm or Dar es Salaam. People of a place have a different context, culture, values and history. So they must be the ones who determine what it means to thrive. And what would it mean for our city to thrive within its natural habitat? What is nature's genius where you are? How does nature sequester carbon and store groundwater after a storm and house biodiversity and cool the climate from the treetops to the forest floor? And what if the city could aim to be as generous as that wildland next door? Where is the timber coming from, the food, the water resources? Where are carbon emissions being emitted around the world in the name of our city's prosperity? Who stitched and sewed the clothes we wear? Who picked and packed the food we buy? Who dug and transported the minerals that build our homes and our city buildings? And how can their rights also be respected? So we offer these questions to ambitious cities. Yes, it's complex. It's a lot to take on. But the questions don't go away if you don't confront them.